Yeah, I had uh, Jason Reitman in here yesterday morning. Yeah, how was he? He's good. He's not a jerk? <laughs> you were putting me on the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not nice. Is he, is he a you're... jerk? Is he a jerk? Because, like, I just really would try to get you to agree with him. <laughs> yeah, and then you'd like, then, then this would go viral. Yeah, and right. It's my job, right? Yeah. He's a great guy. No, sweetheart of a guy. He's a great guy. Sweetheart well, guy. Um, first of all, first big festival for you? Absolutely, it's so the first big festival. So this is going to be a little bit... Exciting. Exciting, sort of, uh, you know, a little bit of trepidation coming out. I even drove here, so I'm really lowballing my way in. You know what? That's not lowballing. I think. No? I think that's good, actually. You keep it really, real. Yeah, keep, not just keep it real. Just like kind of relax. It's not kinetic. It's just you know your pace. Well, I, and I thought that I could relax. The only problem was I forgot my passport. Oh, not good. No. So, for the better part of the drive, I was actually having sort of a low simmer of an anxiety attack about trying to get across the border. So how did that all work out for you? Um, I don't want to put any of the sort of the Canadian um, guys on the border on sort of on the hook or anything. Got it. But uh, he did say, oh, do you have a driver's license? Good enough for me. And that was it. There you go. I was really, I was really thinking that he was going to like put a gun to my head or something, yeah. turn me around. Oh, nice. We're Canadians. It's going to, on the way back. Yeah. The American guys, they're not going to... Well, you know what? We'll be happy to keep it here. So it's yeah, right. Need, right yeah. It's I love not, it up here. It's not a problem. Why do um, I need to go? Labor Day. The, I you know, saw the film um, about a week or so ago, and it's really extraordinary. I mean, yeah. it really is. Uh, what was your, your... First of all, had you read the book before you even took on the role or knew about it? I, I hadn't read the book. Um, and then once, once I came on board, I didn't read the book. Um, just because Jason is sort of an artist of sort of a high order, so I, I had the feeling that he was going to do sort of his own thing with it, and I wanted to be, obviously, do whatever he asked as opposed to get different ideas from what the book sort of represented. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the, the story is pretty extraordinary, and it's different, I think. Completely different. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I told him that uh, I will never eat peach pie in the same way again. <laughs> I know. Well, have, have you seen the whole film? Like, have you seen? I, I have seen the whole film, and and there was even a, even more peach pie stuff that was cut out. I mean, there were pies going back and forth. And every, you know, of course, all the actors are on a diet, and everybody's just like, "Look at that pie go by, you son of a," you know. <laughs> well, I heard that Josh actually made pies for everybody on set. He did. We had like a pie making class. I mean, I found myself making pie next to Kate Winslet and Josh Brolin. It was like, "What am I doing here?" Yeah. Who uh, does that? How did like, I? Who how did that? I get here? Yeah, That's so amazing. It was really well, in case everybody in this room hasn't realized, he plays Josh Brolin when he's younger. Now, yeah. really? Like, is there any resemblance? Hmm. Yeah. My goodness, really? A spitting image. I know. Have you, like, when did this all start for you? Like, right. When was the first time well, you were, like, re recognized? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You sort of... I, I both want to take credit. I was like, you know, hey, I'm in this big movie. And then all of a sudden it was just like, yeah, but you look like the guy. You know, you're like a young... Uh, a lot of the casting directors, you know, in New York and L.A., I would sort of come in. Um, and they'd be like, you know who you look like? You look like a young Josh Brolin. I don't know. And I was like, yeah, I don't know where that's going to get me. It was like, maybe I can ride his coattails someday. And then I remember the, the appointment sheet came over the wire. It was like, we're looking for young Josh Brolin. And I was like, if I don't get this part... I'm quitting. Because it's just, you know, it was like we're looking for a guy who's, you know, six foot one and your age, your height. It's, I couldn't get cast in my own autobiography, but it was just, you know. What was so. your first meeting with Josh like? With Josh Brolin? Yes. Um, it was funny. It was really funny. We were at a, uh, a restaurant in Shelburne Falls in, in western Massachusetts, and it was like he came in and then sort of, we were at a big sort of producer's dinner. And everybody sort of stood up, and then we sort of looked at one another, and everybody was just like, this is really weird. Because <laughs> it was sort of this, like, doppelganger feel to it. But, um, yeah, it was really funny. He's but a great guy. He's a really great guy. Yeah. Very, really smart guy. Very smart guy. Yeah. Really smart guy. Super intense, really, and a great actor. And he'd just come off, it was funny, he'd just come off Men in Black 3, where he was playing a younger version of a Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. So it was like, so men, men in black four. Yeah, men in black four. Can I be like a younger, younger? Um, <laughs> that's funny, actually. Yeah, that's, it was a funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you like when you're playing a younger version of somebody in a film? Is it important to like talk to that actor? Like, did you you know talk to Josh about you know just mannerisms, things like that? That, or do you just leave that alone? Yeah. No. I mean, we talked about it, and and obviously he has a lot of. Um, he has a lot of film work that I sort of, I watched a lot of the movies that he was in, but then again, he's always putting on sort of a, a character, and, 
for each independent project that he's doing. So I just tried to hang around, and I was. They allowed me to come to set when he and and Kate were filming a lot of their stuff. So and it's really just sort of small mannerism, small things, and not you know I didn't sort of sleep in his room or anything and follow him around for you know three weeks or anything. But he was really nice. He was really gracious, and and he'd had a lot of experience, sort of. Um, playing other people or trying to do some sort of imitation or trying to get the essence of some other person. So he was really helpful and sort of guiding me on how to do that. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, Jason Reitman, you know, as a director, why, what, what's, you know, what is it about this guy? He's so great. It, it's really, I, and he, on set, he just sort of does, he sort of hits every point of what an actor could want. He both sits back and allows you sort of free reign to do what you want and then he'll be right behind the camera feeding you lines and giving you small, minute directions. And I think no matter who you are, and look at his track record. I mean, his track, re track record with actors, with films, it's impeccable. Yeah. So I couldn't have asked for a better, really. Uh, I felt spoiled beyond my wildest dreams. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's and a really guy. good guy. And a funny guy. Yeah, well, yeah. I think he gets that from his dad, maybe. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, Ivan's made a few funny films. Yeah, he's made a couple of laughers, right? A couple, yeah. Have they, made, have, they made, have they had any success? You know what, I'm not so sure. Like, I think on the DVDs. Maybe, yeah, sure, sure, DVD, DVD sales or on demand, yeah. I don't really but know. Pretty but pretty amazing, the father and son, you know, and two awesome directors. And yeah. very different styles and everything. Completely, kind completely. Of cool. Yeah. yeah. So you've got a lot of lot of things on the go. One thing I do know about is that you uh, recently booked a um, a series. Yeah. And oh, uh, hmm, Steven Soderbergh is involved. Yeah. Again, I don't know the guy. Don't know his work, but you know, people tell me that he's serious. Yeah, he's so kind of serious. Nice. That's kind of cool. Want to tell me about that? Uh, yeah. I'm sort of. I'm still in a period of thinking. Like, are they sure they got the right guy? Are you sure that you're calling? It's me. It's me. You know, it's me. Right. Um, you know, I read the the pilot script and then I mean Clive Owen is the star and Steven Soderbergh is producing and he's directing every episode of the first season wow. so it's sort of blowing my mind it's it's not going to film for me I don't think until um, later on in the winter time but between now and then I'm just going to have a very large grin on my face I'm sure Clive Owen's here actually and oh is he really he's making he's got a couple films at the festival too sure so he's a busy so you're Why not? Into yeah yeah, yeah you know? man could be worse. Could be worse. Could uh, be worse. What else? We got another another film, um, an indie film. I don't know. I don't have a title for that, but um, with Dream, 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 is she still Dreamer or Drama Walker? Drema. Is it Drema? Uh, I think I'm not sure. I, I know she was on the, the girl, the uh, the bitch in the apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. very cute. Yeah, she's yeah. very very cute. Yeah. And uh, they just locked up Kyle MacLachlan. Which is really cool. Oh, that's gonna be that's yeah. very very cool. So awesome! And so and then you are a writer and you directed your own short I, film. Yeah, too? I did. I did a short film for Trop Fest, okay. which some people know about, and other people. It's just like um, it's a short film uh, festival that has uh, you have to do shorts under six minutes. Mm -hmm. And um, I wrote this thing, adapted it from a little Chekhov short story. It was a really funny. It was called Misery. No, it was not funny at all. It was really depressing. Um, but, and that was fun, and then just sort of on a lark, and it got accepted to the festival, and it played in Brooklyn, sort of in my backyard, basically, in the park. Um, it was really fun. Well, good for you. That's yeah, really yeah. amazing. When did you know you wanted to act? Um, I didn't, you know, I didn't do it in high school. I didn't do it in college um, until I got involved with, like, an experimental theater group from Cal Arts, yeah. and we moved up to Maine, and we took over, like, an abandoned church and made, like, a sort of an art exhibit, and for whatever reason it seemed like, wow, acting seems sort of fun. It's, I was like sort of performing in there, and then I moved to New York, and it still seems like a crazy idea to be acting, but, you know, a couple of years later, this is what I'm doing. Well, so. you're loving it. Yeah, That's it's amazing, right? incredible. You gotta do what you love. Yeah. So, your dream co-star? Uh, dream co-star, jeez. Oh, that's pick a anybody. Yeah, I know, it's a really tough question. Um, I, you know what, I always wanted to be, I might even say, I always wanted to be in Full Metal Jacket being shouted at by Arlie Ermey, just having him do that whole Full Metal Jacket, I just wanted him in my face just shouting at me and shouting at me. I don't know why, I mean, maybe that's a little, you know, sadomasochistic of me, maybe I'm sort of opening the veil too much, but, yeah, I don't these know. Are, these are therapy sessions, too, you know? I, It feels like a therapy yeah. session just a little bit. Just so bit. you know, we, and, and, you don't charge. You don't? No. 
I don't have to pay at the end no, of this? No, you get gifts too after the whole thing as You're well. kidding like, me. Really? Could you ever go to a therapist like that? Slow your roll. That's incredible. <laughs> well, no, no, really, honestly. Well, it's been a pleasure talking it's to you. It's been great talking really, to you. Really, really, really fun. Guy.